Hello everyone, welcome to SRD Automation. In this tutorial, we will see how we can get data from MongoDB using API books and how we can write API documentation for that. So first, let's start Postman and on Postman we will see what data we are getting when we will call slash API slash books. So now here we have open books and then you can see we have endpoint localhost 80 slash api slash book. This should match exactly with our endpoint api slash books. So if I call this particular, if I will call api slash books and we will send the re request, you can see in response we have these things id name and then slash i underscore id name and then id so now here we can see in this particular object we have three things id name and then again id so for that we have to also get the same response in our swagger ui right so we have to create one more documentation for books and for that what we will do we can write here slash a streak slash a streak a streak and hype and then enter and after that we will write at the rate swagger inside that we will write here slash api slash books so this should match with this one and uh, then we can say colon next we will write get after one tap we will press get because this is get request and then we will say description sim description so we can say summary description and all whatever things we are writing so we can say here summary and then we can say to get all books from mongo d and then we can say description in description this api is used to fetch data from mongo db now after description we have to give the response so we will write here responses and then responses will be 200 and in this responses now <coughs> we have to give the description that what kind of response we want so i can say simply this one right so we have here responses then now next thing is we have to give the content so what kind of content you want so in content and in content what kind of data you are expecting so i'll write application slash json so i'm expecting application slash json data and then you have to give here the other type so for now let's save it and we can check here whether it is created or not slash so now you can see we have one more api is created get slash books api slash books to get all the books from mongodb if i click here you can see right now we don't have anything <coughs> so we have to provide here responses and other stuff then it will automatically show here so under content we have to provide that so for that what we have to do is we can write here json colon so colon is important if i write colon then let's check one more thing right so next thing we can we have provided application slash json and then we have to write a schema as c h e m a schema and after a schema we can write colon and then we have to say type so type will be array so we will get more than one books 
as you can see in postman we have the thing available inside array we have to provide the array now after array <coughs> we have to say items in this items we have to provide the reference so i can say dollar ref and here i have to give the path for our uh, we can say component so we can say here components slash a schema and slash book so right now we don't have a schema so we have to create the schema components slash schema and slash books once it will be ready then once we will create the schema this service will be ready to use so let's check one more time so it is saying a schema is not available although you can see here media type json is coming and other thing is other things are not available since here it is saying we don't have a schema so now let's create the schema and to create a schema we can write here you can write on top so that all other services apis also use the same thing but let me write here i'll say slash strict strict and then we can say at the rate swagger inside that we'll say component and then we'll say a schema and a schema is book so we have to use the same name that we have used here book so components and then a schema and book inside book we have to write type so now type is basically object so as you can see in postman we have array and inside array we have object so in curly braces is called object in json format so now here we have type equal to object and then we can say that properties so what kind of data you what, what all fields we, we want in this particular object we will write properties and then we can say property should be underscore id and then here i can say underscore id next thing is we'll have to write type equal to i'll say a string then i'll say id and then type equal to integer and then i'll say title and then type equal to a string so this is the same thing that we have here okay so we are getting name instead of title we are getting name so i'll write here name so name it should be a string type id it should be integer type and also here if you will remove any particular field then also it will not make any problem so if i remove this underscore id then also it will it should work so let's save it since we have now created the component and this component is referring here a schema component so if i go here and check again it should work so now we are not seeing any message here top message and then we can see these things right so in this schema we are seeing id equal to zero and name equal to a string if we will include that field then that field will be visible here if you will click on a schema you will see what kind of data we have here inside array we have name and integer and uh, then we can try here so let's click on try and after that if i click execute so now you can see we have sent get request api slash books and then what kind of response we are getting in response we have code 200 and then response body we have these data which is coming directly from mongodb so this is what we have seen here and if you will go back from this url you will see okay so basically we have now these two services are available get slash and then get api slash books 
so in the next tutorial we will see how we can use get with parameters thank you